I have five. Um, here is my structure from last week. Um, you can see that some of the sellotape papers come off. Um, don't worry too much about that. Um, what we're going to do today is we're going to try and use this structure, or we are going to use this structure, um, and we're going to turn it in to the Arc de Triomphe, which is a famous archway in Paris um, that was used to represent um, the Napoleonic War, I believe. Um, so we're going to add on to this. The aim is we're going to make this um, basically rise off the ground and this bit is going to make the top of the arch and we're going to make the legs today. Well then, next lesson, um, I'm not going to tell you, but I'll see if you can work it out. From when we've added on the legs here, and we're then going to add on a tower here to make another famous structure. Um, but I'll let you have a think about that one. Um, I know last lesson for some of you was quite tricky and I'm, and I'm sorry about that. I didn't want to make it tricky. Um, but I just thought it was fascinating that triangles that are made of this very thin card can hold such a weight. Um, and even somebody got to three kilograms, which was two large bags of flour, which was amazing. Now, um, if you don't have this, for whatever reason, it's gone, on the, it's gone on the bin or it's completely broken. If you don't have this, it's not in the world um, because we can just make a very simple card triangle for the top instead. But if you have got this, um, even better, because this will help. This, this is just a, this is the middle piece of the puzzle, basically. And we're going to make the bottom part today. Um, so I hope you enjoy the instructions and the stages. We're going to work slightly differently. We're going to work on a net method today rather than a, um, a single structure. Um, so this will, should only take a lesson. Um, and some of you might find this a bit easier because the technique is different. Thank you. I have five, so here is my net. What we're basically making um, is a cuboid um, or a 3D rectangle. Um, so you can leave it like this. We've got three centimeters here and six centimeters there. But if you wanted to do something that has good finishing, there's something you can add on called a tab. Um, and this will allow you to stick this side here. We're gonna fold all these and stick this tab over here. So it gives you a better finish. It should allow you to stick the tape on the inside um, rather than the outside. If you don't have a tab, it doesn't matter. Um, you will just stick the tape probably on the outside. But if you wanted to have a better finish, then have a tab. Um, and actually, I was just thinking about this. Make sure your tab has a good size to it. So all the glue, the glue will go here. All the glue can stick really well. All the um, tape can stick really well to this side. I'm now going to make this three more times. And I'm going to try and use these lines to help me um, and I'll show you what I mean. So here are three of my four legs. Um, you can probably see that these lines all line up together. So what I've done is I've drawn this one, I've left a one centimetre gap and then I've measured it again but I've used these lines to help me get everything in the same position. So I don't have to redraw it completely all, um, every single time. However, you can see down here, um, I am running out of space because I'm using a pizza box. So I'm gonna draw my final one uh, just here. But it did help to have things in line. So I only have to draw it really properly once here and it, what will be is once here. Just one more thing to mention, um, please try and keep card um, out of your recycling for the next few weeks for this project. Um, you can probably see mine was made out of a unicorn lolly box that my daughter loves to eat, part of her pudding. Um, so if you have anything like that, cereal boxes, pizza boxes, biscuit boxes, please do keep those because we're going to need to use this type of card or it's the best type of card to use because it's really easy to cut and stick. Um, so just Try and tell parents, or just remember when you've eaten something and the box is finished, just to try and keep that to one side. So here I've cut out my four net um, cuboids, or 3D rectangles, ready for constructing. Um, you can see today, um, I've got a pizza box that I've used. I'm gonna try and keep this card on the outside, 
um, because I think the presentation will be better. So if you have got, like I have, colourful size, try and make that be the inside of your structure. And what we're now going to do is we're now going to use the ruler and we're going to line it up on the lines and we're going to fold them. So we're going to start to make this become 3D. So now I see I've folded um, my structure. However, it's not folding the right way because this would make the colourful side on the outside. So just um, manipulate it back on itself because you've already got the crease in the fold um, and make it go the other way. Make sure you also fold your tab as well because that's going to help you stick. And then we're going to construct this into a cuboid with a bit of glue or some tape. Okay, you're five, so I've now got my four legs, um, and you can hopefully see um, there's a bit of sellotape in there, and I've got my tab in there to secure it. Um, here is my structure. Now, what I'm going to do is, tr tricky one-handed, but I'll do my best, um, I'm going to try and spread these out. There's a bit of a gap in between, because there's four column-like legs on the Arc de Triomphe, and then I'm going to take this structure, and I'm going to place it on top, um, and I'll have to a bit of adjustment the best I can to make them fit. Now you can, if you want to, glue these on, um, or you can just leave them loose, that's fine. Now if you are someone who hasn't got um, this structure, that's okay. Take that off and um, make yourself a 10 centimeter piece of card, and then you can just use that as your um, structure there, ready for next lesson. I can even put that back on top actually, look at that. Um, so next lesson from the Arc de Triomphe, we are going to make another famous building. So again, please make sure that you have either your um, strong structure and your four legs, or you have your four legs and your piece of card, because um, we're gonna need something in between the legs and the tower that we're gonna add on top. Um, and I'll let you have a little think if you can work out what we're going to make less lesson. Again, please upload your work to Teams so I can see how well you have done and ask questions on the class page if you need any help. Thank you.